Woo! You know, we've we've had a really good set of games. So we just got to be cautious and see what happens. Uh, Aperture Science 42, thank you for that follow while I was gone. Appreciate that. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Hope you're having a good Monday. We've got J2 on the mound tonight. And then... We've only got seven games left in the season. That is crazy. So Cancun pray, playing for pride and an outside chance of making the playoffs. We've got Baller Velios on the mound. He's 2-2 two and two with a 6.08 ERA. We've got John Jeremy on the mound. He is 5-2 and two with a 3.89 ERA. Uh, stat changes? No, it was relatively... I was actually surprised by this. That It's just salary drops. Not even anybody dumping anybody, which I'm guessing on the schedule... Yeah, there's not been a lot of games since that San Juan game. So we'll have to wait till after this one, and I'm sure a lot will happen. Oh, there's that bounce back game that we were, you all were asking about earlier. So that'll be next. We may not get to that one tonight. It is getting a little bit late, so... Wait, what was their pitcher? He is a righty. So it looks like Mother Love is healthy enough to play again, so we're going to throw her in the lineup. She'll play short down there at the bottom. Lethal is back on first. Stacy Sevens. I like her batting right here. I like the speed in the middle of the lineup. That is really good right now. And I mean, if she's going to hit home runs from the sixth spot, we're going to let it happen. So let's go with this lineup. Um, dig a bounce back. Travis and Sir Studs are both playing out of their minds, so I'm not going to put least expected back in the lineup yet. So here we go. This is a divisional game. Cancun coming to visit us. Asher Ryan's on that team leading off. There's Juan Ramada. I was trying to pull up my list here. Uh, D-Clan Mozabite plays catcher. Johnny Ball's at third. So they could be, there could be four. The entire infield, besides one, could be viewer players. Asher Ryan. 293 average. Let's see what J2 can bring up today. Oh, hard hit ball. Sky cannot handle it. That's going to be a hit for Asher Ryan. So Young straight on base. That'll bring up one. One batting 322. Cancun trying desperately. He needs some wins. And Juan's going to get a good hit, but Mother Love is there, and she's going to throw the first, but not in time. Asher Ryan was too aware of that play. That'll bring up Khalil Bango. He's on fire. 229, 26 RBIs, and some home runs to boot. A2 going to ride the inside. Oh, Sky's there. There's one, and there is two. The 0-5-4-3 double play will bring it into the top of the first. We go to the bottom. Lethal D Feline, Sky Rodriguez, and Z Striker coming up to bat. Let's see what the Goddess of Swing can do here. We'll take ball one. Two and oh from Velos. Three and oh. He is walk prone, and that is a four pitch walk to start the game. So that will bring up Sky Rodriguez. She's looking for her 20th home run of the season. He has been very productive since we signed her. It's a walk for her, or a ball for her, excuse me. That's a hard hit ball. It may drop. 
And it does. Oh, man, he's going to be out, isn't he? Oh, come on, game. What a terrible place to stop that. So that will bring up Z with just one on now. Oh, Z, good swing, but just late to the party. And there's a little bloop pit. No, Asher Ryan stretches out and catches that. Round number two. So that will bring up Travis the Unknown. One on one to Travis. Oh, I didn't really want to swing at that, and I did. Two and two. Oh, Travis goes opposite field, but it's right at one, and Juan will make the catch. We go to the second inning. Zero zero. Cabrera, Esposito, and Mekhi Snyder. Two up. J2 goes back to work here. <clears throat> There's ground ball. Lethal should have that. She'll step on the bag. One away. Got to bring up Eric Esposito. 309 average. Some high averages for some of these computer players. But they don't ever have anything to show for it. There's a wild ooh, slider down at the shoelaces. <clears throat> One and two. Let's go high heat. Come on, J2. <gasps> uh, let's get a check swing call. There we go. J2 gets him with the fork ball. Karma. Schneider will approach the plate. That's a wild pitch. Hard hit, but Stacy Sevens is there. And that'll take us to the bottom of the second. Good defense all around so far today. Bats are a little quiet. Sir studs. See if we can get on base. Hey, Travis. That's inside. 1 0 pitch. That's inside. 2 0. Baller Velos back to his tricks. I swung at ball three because I'm an idiot. Gotta bring up Stacy Sevens. And that may get up the middle. Asher Ryan gets it. Can he make the throw? No. Stacy Sevens is safe. What a hustle. And that will bring up Mother Love, her first at bat since coming back from injury. She'll take ball one. Hard hit ball, but it popped up. Center fielder on it. Got to bring up Mr. Dependable. Stacy Sevens going off the second. She is in there. That is a steal. Oh, I should have dropped it down more. Two and one. Runner on second. Two out. Oh, and that may get through. Stacy Sevens is going to challenge the arm of one. One's throw is cut. Off, and that will allow the Drakes to go up one nothing. Oh man, one I think had her gun down, but the pitcher cuts it off, and that allows a run to score. J two. Ooh, hard hit ball. He didn't have it. Oh, J2, power swing there, but I think it's not enough. Schneider will make the catch, but the Drakes go up here at the bottom of the second. It is one nothing. D-Clan Mozavite, Boone Erickson, and Baller Velos. Boone Erickson sounds like a uh, distillery that would make bourbon. Boone Erickson bourbon. For the taste that smooths you.
J2, he's got a run of support now. See what he does with it. That's a terrible slider. That was a perfect slider. Exactly what I meant to throw. Again, if I don't know where it's going, neither does the batter. <laughs> Fine Florida spirit. Yeah, a ghost spirit. Another terrible. Woo! J2 slinging it right now. Got a lot of movement on those pitchers, the pitches, and that'll bring up the pitcher. Excuse me, Baller Velos. He gets a hit. Molo, here's her chance to show she's still got it. And she does. Gotcha, gonna get you. One nothing. We go to the bottom of the third. Lethal D, Feline, Sky, Rodriguez, and Z. What a three person lineup. Lethal D drew a walk. Mm, takes a pitch there. Oh, hard hit ball. It may drop. Oh, one. One with the gold glove out there and left. Sky steps up here. Take two balls. Three balls now. We'll watch this one. That's a four pitch walk on Sky. That'll bring up Z. 51 RBIs. Good lord. Monster numbers this season. Oh, he tries to go opposite field. I don't think he caught enough of it. Cabrera with the catch. That'll bring up Travis the Unknown. He's coming off career two-game stint. Let's see what he can do here in the game three. Oh, Travis! He's trying to go opposite field. Did he get enough of it? It is caught at the wall by one. We go to the fourth inning. one nothing. Top of the lineup coming up for the Cruisers of Cancun. Asher Ryan, Juan Ramada, and Khalil Bengo. Second baseman, number 22. Let's see. Oh, J2 should be able to handle that one. Oh, bare hands it in the sidearm. That's out number one. <clears throat> that will bring up one. Been a defensive maestro today. So we can punish him at the plate. Ooh. Give him a chase. Did not chase. He went up for that one. I don't think Travis can get to it now. Hit him with those slider. J2 special? Nope. He got a piece of it. But Stacy Sevens will cut it off. And that's out number two. Khalil Bango. Give him chase outside. Oh, he went. How did he get contact on that? I'm kind of impressed. That's the sky. She should have that one. And that is a one, two, three, fourth for J2. So we'll head to the bottom. It's our stud, Stacy Sevens, and Molo. And Seven is the only one with a hit of the three. Sir Studs is locked in still. Hard hit ball, but right at Eric Esposito. And he'll make the catch. And to bring up Stacy Sevens. Number seven. Number seven. Oh, she just missed that one. 88 power. And that'll bring up Mother Love with two outs. Hmm, good swing on that one. Just way ahead of it. Got to get her timing back. Oh, just underneath it. 
And that's a quick inning for the Drakes as well. So we'll go to the fifth, one nothing. Cabrera, Esposito, and Schneider do up. Cabrera is rattled for some reason, which means he'll probably get a hit. Almost. Now batting the shortstop, number 28. Ooh, down the line, but it is going to go foul. Travis watches it. Didn't even put hustle into that one. Good job, Travis. Ooh, so J2 falls behind here. 2-1 pitch. That's going to even it up. Again with a high fork ball. Did not go for it. How about the old curve? Take your base. Oh, the umpire does not give the call. So that will put a runner on first. The first walk of the day by J2. Schneider comes up to bat. It should be a double play. Molo knows how to turn those. And that is it. A 6-4-3 double play will bring it in to the top of the fifth. We go. Zenus, John Jeremy, and Lethal, the turn of the order, do up. Nobody, the catcher, number 21. See what Mr. Dependable can do. He'll take ball one. Oh, big swing there. But I think the center fielder, Schneider, is going to run that one down, and he indeed does one away. J2 is locked in. He's got some power boost and contact. I'll let J2 power swing. We'll see what happens. Hmm. Just missed that one. I should have went after that one. I did not. That is popped up. First baseman underneath it. And Bingo has it. So two quick outs, and that will bring up Lethal D. She's drew a walk today and a ground out. And that is popped up. Shallow left field. Third baseman goes back. And Erickson makes the catch. So we go to the sixth inning. Mozabite, Erickson, Velos do up. The battle of the pitching is indeed afoot. As the bats have been turned off. Looks like uh, Lethal's calling for this one. And she'll have it. One away. Boone Erickson, 0 for 1 today. That's going to be a hit, I think. Sir Studs on the run. Oh, he couldn't get it. Oh, I thought he had it. And that is going to turn into a double. Such a dramatic dive. I thought he was right on line for it. Should have been a catch. Don't know how it bounced off the glove. And that will bring up the pitcher. He'll probably drop a bunt. Finally, finally we get that. Had to bring up Asher Ryan. The pitcher is on first. So not a, oh, that's a terrible pitch. Yeah, that's going to be a base hit. Maybe I shouldn't laugh too quick. So Juan steps up now. Real chance to get the cruisers on the board. That's right, the lethal though. And lethal will step on the bag for out three. That strands two. We go to the bottom of the sixth. It's still one nothing. Sky Rodriguez, Z Striker, and Travis the Unknown coming up the bat. No, that bunt didn't have enough speed on the base to do it. Sky Rodriguez still looking for a 20th home run. That pitch is not it. Neither is that one. That pitch should have been it, but I missed it terribly. And Mikhail, Mikai Snyder will make the catch. That will bring up Z. Ooh, that's a nasty pitch he throws. Oh, just didn't have enough power loaded on that one. That's going to be two quick outs. He's really done a good job of uh, neutralizing my power hitting. 
Let's see if Travis can get something going here. Oh, base hit. Juan's going to field that one, but two out single. Now to bring up Sir Studs. Sir Studs has not got a hit yet today. We'll see if he can pull something through. Checks on that one. We need the speed on the base. Oh, almost went opposite field. That could have been dangerous for the, uh, the cruisers, but it's one one now. Hard hit ball, but right to Esposito, it's short. And that will end the inning. We go to the seventh. It's still one nothing. A good close game here after some blowout victories by the Drakes. But here at home, they're struggling. Bingo, Cabrera, and Esposito do up for the Cancun Cruisers. Now battle the first baseman, number 39. Ball low. Let's see if J2 can keep in the game. One run is not what he's used to getting in run support. He is struggling right now. Ooh, got that call. Okay, we'll take that. Drop this one in. Oh, that ball's ripped. It could be a chance to go. It is off the wall. Travis misplays it. He's going to throw it in. It's going to be at least a double. So a leadoff double puts the Cruisers in chance to tie this game. Number 20. That ball's hit well, but Z is there. And they're going to try to test Z's arm, but that throw is on the spot, and Sky will tag him out. And Z, the machine, clears the bases. And where the Cruisers had a chance to tie, they now have nobody on. Two outs, and that is a ground out the mother love. That's got to be demoralizing as we head to the bottom of the seventh. Stacy Sevens, mother love, and Zenus do up. So Stacy Sevens leading off for us here. We'll take a ball. Hard hit ball. Tried to take it down the line, but it just goes foul. Mm, that was a good pitch. One two pitch here. Oh, good swing on that one, but the right fielder is underneath it, and Cabrera will make the catch. And that will bring up Mother Love. She's still looking for a first hit after coming back. From injury, see what she can do here. Velo's pitching a good game. Oh, Molo turned on that one. It's got a chance. It is off the wall. She's going to dig out. One throws in, and that is a stand-up double with one out here. Molo is back. That will bring Zenus up. Mr. Dependable, extend the lead. That's not going to do it. I pulled the old trigger down there and messed up the, sh the swing. So John Jeremy, he's over two, but a chance here to help his own cause. Mm, those high ones are tearing him up. And he'll strike out, and that will bring an end to the seventh. We go to the eighth. Snyder, Mozabite, and Erickson do up. Now batting the center fielder, number 12. There is some motion in the bullpen. We are almost to the ninth. Could be Cayman time. Oh, a J2 says, you just put him back down on the bench. We don't need him yet. D-Clam Mosbite, a viewer 0 for 2, steps up. Good pitch there, even though it was kind of wild. J2 pitching a great game. This is his own there. Mm, does not get the call. Here we go. Full count pitch, and that's a nice fork ball in there for strike three. So Boone Erickson steps up. That's a ground ball. Who's going to get it? Stacy Seven's charging. Can she make the throw? She does. 
top of the order coming up here. The Drake's leading one nothing. We go from having 30 something hits in a game to eight total thus far. Can the top of the lineup do anything to rectify that? Lethal D. 0 for 2 today. Drew that walk and has been quiet since. Inside. It's ball one. That ball is launched. Did the goddess of swing do it again? It is caught at the wall. Snyder got under it. That will bring up Sky Rodriguez. Again, 0 for 2 and drew a walk earlier. She'll take that first pitch. Ooh, that one got in there somehow. And that is a strikeout. So Sky Rodriguez. Here comes Z. Z, 0 for 3 today. And Z, a big blast past the shortstop. So that's going to be a two-out single. Comes down the Travis the Unknown. Last chance to put insurance runs on the board before we head into the ninth. Hard hit ball. Esposito cuts it off. And J2 will have a chance at the turn of the order here. Go for a complete game shutout. Balos will obviously pinch hit. Ryan and Ramada. Hesto Massey. 318 average coming into the game. Let's see what J2 can do. First pitch down low. Ground ball. We'll take three of those. One away. J2 trying to pull this off. Here's Asher Ryan. Two for three today, batting 300. A2 just goes up high just to scare him off the plate a little bit. That ball's hit well. That's going to be a base hit. <sighs> pressure, pressure building as Juan steps up. Bad pitch. Go foul. All strike two. Come on, J2. Get him with this slider of yours. Mm. Oh, that could be a double play. Molo's there. There's one. And wow. One is too fast. Khalil Bingo still a chance. No. Oh, they're putting Will. For Wait, what kind of pinch running is this? Is it because he's got bad jumps? Does that mean they're going to try to sp uh, steal here? Hey. Two outs. J2. Trying to close the door. Can he do it? On the curveball, what a pitch, what a game by John Jeremy. Holy cow! And the Drakes take the win one to nothing. Velos and John Jeremy win at each other the whole game. The one run in the second inning is the difference. Five hits apiece. Close, close game there. Asher Ryan, young straight, goes three for four, one. 0 for four, disappointment for him. D-Clan Mozabite went 0 for three. Not a lot of hits on our side either. Z, Travis get hits. Couple walks by Lethal and Sky up there. Stacy Sevens could be your player of the game. One for three, scored a run. Knocked in by Zenus with the only RBI of the day. Molo going one for three on her return. Balarelos will take the loss. He went eight innings. Only give up one earned run, five hits. Any other day, that would have been a win, but not today. John Jeremy goes the complete game shutout. Five hits, no earned runs, one walk. Improves to 6-2 and two on the season.
And John Jeremy, oh, he's the only Drake to make it on the podium. So John Jeremy, the starter, takes the Player of the Game award. And then Baller Velos, which makes sense. And then Asher Ryan gets that bronze. You did, Young Straight. It was not your fault. So 11 games. We'll see if this changes anything. Nassau's pretty much got their division wrapped up. They do lose. Hollywood needs this win, but it looks like Birmingham's going to take that. Birmingham may be close to clinching the Stonewall division. Wichita gets a win. They'll stay above 500, but probably out of the playoffs. That game did not matter. This game is kind of important. Buffalo. Ooh, Buffalo has really hurt Kyoto's wild card playoff chances. The Croconons need this, and they get it. That's an outside chance for a playoff spot for them. San Juan really needs this one, and they don't get it. And their run difference goes down even farther. The Bards! The Bards get upset. Oh, man, that could be them. Cancun and Hampton. Hampton gets a win. Hampton a game and a half out. SKS trying to lead the Hares to a playoff berth. Texarkana beats the Buzzard. Oh, man. Things are tightening up here as we look at the standings. The Cyclones only have a game and a half lead over the Hampton Hares. Barbados right there. Nassau has clinched their division. Manitoba close to clinching their division. I think Hollywood has a two-game lead on the wild card on that side. We'll look there here in a little bit. The Drakes have clinched their division. I think they may have clinched a one seed as well. Wyoming still has the Dirt Dogs and the Croconons in the hunt. And Birmingham still has Bellevue and San Juan in the hunt. We have Nottingham next. That will be an interesting game. John Jeremy has lost two velocity. Bubba Blastman. Holy crap, Bubba Blastman has lost 15 power. Are you kidding me? We may have to dump Bubba Blastman before the end of the season. Yeah, I, I knew Bubba was going to lose, but I, I, I didn't think it would just hit all at once. Beznar still trying to get a job. Looks like the Monarchy or No, they signed somebody with good salary. That's interesting. Von Wolf still looking for a job. Um... That one catcher we wanted got signed by somebody, didn't she? So unfortunately, that's the only player I'd really want to sign before. Yeah. We may have to pick up some... Ooh. Oh, no, that's wrong. I was looking at Gershwin Popetta here. Can't afford that. Maybe right before the playoffs, we may have to take a look at who's available. and Because there'll be a lot of people that drop people um, right before the end of the season. And if some of these people can drop their salaries, I wouldn't mind spending some money to get somebody that can help us for the playoffs. Because like I said, unfortunately, I that... I did not expect that to happen. Yeah, the Bubba Blastman losing that much just... Yeah, that, that's rough. That's rough. All right, let's take a real quick look at the league leaders. Looks like, oh, Alicia. I'm, I'm guaranteeing that Alicia Woodrow jumps Z before the end of the season just because of her strikeout ability. Sky Rodriguez is third. It's a cat fight between my two bays. 
the luxurious Alicia Woodrow with her red hair, and then the, the cocoa butter skin of Sky Rodriguez. How weird can I make that? Looks like Z is still winning the Triple Crown, though Sky is right there with RBIs, so we'll have to be careful with that. We don't want to game the system, but I don't want to have something that happened to us last time when we lost it. Um, Sweet One is down there for home runs. So is Smith, Smitty, and Inferno Canuck. Wow, lots of viewers on the home run list. Z up there for hits, extra base. Sweet One World War II fan for extra base hits. Yeah, y'all are doing pretty good out there in the batting world. World War II fan Inferno Canuck on the run scored. Sir Studs is leading by five on the steals now. Stacy Sevens tied for second. Sir Studs just steals so much. He's so fast. Looking at the pitching, Captain Pete, Yusuf, and Colton all there. Colton starts next game, I believe. Um, Alicia Woodrow, Shaman up there on the ERA still. Cayman on saves. Thought we might need Cayman this game. We did not. Pete is still there. We'll see if the door stays open. Three Dog as well. Three Dog having a good season. Shady is just lingering out there. Nobody signed her yet. Somebody going into the playoffs will. Interesting. All right, so here's the important part of the night, the playoff standings. The Dirt Dogs do, oh my God, it's Florida now in second place for that wild card. Can the Crocodons beat the drought and make the playoffs? So we very well could end up playing the Latino Lightning, Queen Grimmeth, Darlington Dirt Dogs, or could it be the return? Could it be the return of Critia Zero? And the Florida Crocodons in round one of the playoffs. You've also got the Buffalo Berserkers and Kyoto Blowfish sitting there lingering. Though the run differences do not favor the Berserkers or the Blowfish. Birmingham and, Wy and Wy Wyoming, I really wouldn't want to play either one of them. You've got Zeros McBirthday there on Birmingham. I don't think there's any viewers on the wide loads. Let me check real quick. Oh, there is Haas Greedley. Oh, Greedley, my bad. Um, on the other side, Manitoba and Hollywood. <sighs> Nassau and Louisville. I don't know. Uh, I think Hollywood's going to hold on to that spot, to be honest with you all. I'd have to look at the schedule to see who Hampton plays. Um... But... I don't know. They did get us early in the season, didn't they? So. I don't know if I'm nothing without the Drakes. That's stretching it a little bit. I mean, let, let, let's be realistic here. I mean... Nine home runs and 22 RBIs, almost 300 average. No stolen bases this season, though. Four errors, that's a personal best. Eh, I mean, come on. I mean, he's carrying the team as far as he can. So... I mean, besides Ariel Friedman... Uh, it's the most home runs on the team. All right, so upcoming games. We got Nottingham against Shaman. That's going to be interesting. And then we're on the road for the last five games of the season. So anything could happen. I mean, we've clinched a playoff spot. I don't think we're going to lose the one seed. But, so what I would really like to do is tomorrow, I would like to stream and start fairly early, maybe like a seven o'clock stream 
my time and try to knock out. I may even start earlier, depending on how my day goes. I would like to start earlier and knock out the rest of the regular season games. Then that way that frees up the weekend at some point, either Saturday or Sunday, to start the playoffs and see what happens. Because uh, it's getting a little late tonight. I've got to get up super early for work tomorrow. So, but yeah, that, so that's what I'm going to try to do. Maybe even a 6.30 start would be enough time. But uh, I think that's what we'll do. But anyways, I think I'm going to go ahead and call the stream. I hope you all have enjoyed this. I love streaming this game. I really do. It is probably one of my favorite games of all time in my entire life. Um... Just because my love is baseball. So, but anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this. We've got six games left in the season. We'll try to knock them out next time. Uh, tomorrow, I know I don't stream a lot on Tuesdays, but I'm going to really try really hard, get uh, work done early, and then get a lot of other stuff knocked out. But as always, thanks for watching. God bless. I will see you all next time. If you're not following on Twitter, it's at SKS Plays. If you like a link to the Discord, exclamation Discord. I'll see you all next time. Night, everybody. Super thanks to these April Patreon supporters. If Patreons were green beans, I'd can them and keep them in my basement. Zachary McKinley, James Matisse, Nicholas Absher, Least Expected, Party Commissar, Azure Rain, and Critias Zero.